Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. President Obama recommends longer school days and the NEA recommends reading rules for radicals. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, director of cultural affairs for Liberty Council and associate dean for the law school. This call by President Obama and, of course, his education uh, appointment for longer school days is not something new, but he has pulled out this mantra and this stump speech again. He's calling for longer school days saying that it makes sense to him and uh, that we need to have our children in school longer. Now, the person who's head of the uh, Department of Education that has been appointed by Obama now believes that we ought to be able to keep our children in school for up to 12 hours or more per day. Uh, This is absolutely unbelievable that you'd want to put kids in school. And you have to ask yourself the question, why would you want to have longer school days up to 12 hours per day? literally cutting the parents out of having an opportunity to be with their kids, there's obviously an agenda behind this desire. Well, of course there is. There's This is the nanny state on steroids. Uh, this is that uh, it takes a village to raise a child mentality, Hillary Clinton's infamous book. Uh, this is the left's mentality that, that parents need to be pushed out of the equation because the government, uh, the government class, the elite class, knows better than parents do. And since children are our most priceless uh, national resource, uh, they know, the left knows, that they're losing the argument uh, from an ideological standpoint that by about two to one, America is a center-right uh, nation over a liberal nation. So they're looking to uh, gain control of the minds of the youth, they, they recognize that if you can control and mold like clay the minds of our children that they can own tomorrow because they they uh, recognize that uh, adults today currently are not buying into their uh, left-wing extremism. So the longer school day, it stands to reason that they have more time to uh, indoctrinate your children to their uh, hard left worldview. Well, there's an inverse relationship to the time in school, in public school, versus the result and the output of the student on every measurable scale, whenever you ultimately change the foundation. And as scriptures say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you remove God from the foundation, there's an inverse relationship of time versus result. The longer you're in school, the worse your result. If you look at, for example, they're constantly looking at other nations around the world. They say, well, American children spend about 180 days in school compared with 197 days for other uh, children in other schools around the, the world. 196 days for upper grades in countries with the best student achievement levels, they say, which would be Japan, South Korea, Germany and New Zealand. So they're essentially saying, well, these other nations have longer school days or longer school years. So therefore, we need to do that as well. They miss the point as to, it's not how long you spend in school. It's not how long the day is or how many days in a year, but the substance while you're there. You have to ask yourself the question, why is it that homeschoolers outperform these public schoolers? In every measurable category, they outperform them both in uh, social adjustment, but also in all of the academics. And yet they're in school less during the day than someone in a public school. They can finish their schooling in a shorter period of time in a day than those in a public school. And so they're actually having less school but better achievement. It's not because you just simply lengthen the day that makes the difference. You've got to have the substance change and the educational system, particularly the NEA bureaucrats, Mm -hmm. have killed the public educational system. Well, man, I I don't believe for a minute that the the NEA, the National Education Association, President Obama, or uh, any of the liberals controlling the reins of government right now actually think that the longer school day is going to improve education, I think the motives are much more sinister. I think that the longer longer school day in their mind uh, gives them access to our children for a longer period of time, as I mentioned, in order to foist these... uh, 
uh, public policy and cultural positions uh, on the children and try to recreate, try to, to fashion these children in their own in their own image. You mentioned, you know, the National Education Association recommending uh, Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals as as reading for kids. Uh, well, let's not forget uh, Saul Alinsky. Who did he dedicate this book to? He, the, the very first radical, this is uh, Saul Alinsky here for, in his dedication. From all our legends, mythology, and history, the first, first radical known to the man who rebelled against the establishment and did it so effectively that he at least won his own kingdom. Lucifer. So Saul Alinsky dedicates Rules for Radicals to Satan and goes through and, and teaches uh, left-wing radicals how to manipulate the system, how to lie, cheat, and steal their way into power. And this is the book that the National Education Association is recommending. That's in keeping with this longer school day idea. Uh, boy, you give the kids that as the textbook, get to access to them for 12 hours, and you're going to churn out a whole bunch of little radicals. You will. And, and, you know, you have the National Education Association. You have to ask yourself the question, what in the world do they have uh, business recommending rules for radicals as recommended reading? What does that have to do with advancing education? It doesn't. It has all to do with advancing their ideological mm. political agenda. The NEA is not about quality education. It's not about the best interest of children. If it were involved in focusing on the best interest of children, and parents helping them to make decisions, they would be in favor of school choice, vouchers. They would say, let us have those so that we can have the public schools compete. Let's not force uh, failing uh, schools in, or children in failing schools to continue to doom their future education by staying there. Let's give them an opportunity. But no, they're not in favor of that. They take positions on all kinds of things that have nothing to do with education because it's an ideological organization that wants to use the schools, and Obama wants to use these public schools as engines of change so that parents can be cut out of the picture and they can have our children and radically change their views. It's all about rules for radicals. NEA recommends it. Obama was raised on it. Uh, Matt, the, the National Edu uh, Education Association has forged deep-seated partnerships with groups like Planned Parenthood, with groups like the National Organization for Women, with groups like GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. They develop curricula for the public schools based on these uh, left-wing organizations' uh, propagandist materials. Uh, GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight, uh, edu uh, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, uh, provides curriculum to school kids to help uh, uh, promote the homosexual lifestyle through their gay straight alliance networks and so forth. They are pushing uh, um, kids toward uh, engaging in, in premarital sex. The National Education Association is through their partnership with Planned Parenthood. They push the abortion agenda. They uh, have signed off on every single aspect of the radical homosexual lobby's uh, uh, demands. And it, it, it's frightening that this, the National Education Association, is the largest and one of the most powerful unions in the United States of America. Now they and President Obama w want unfettered access for our, our, to our kids for up to 12 hours a day. People need to be aware of this. People need to push back. And, and say, no, if anything, it's time that the federal government get out of the business of public education and, and, and re return that back to municipalities. Most importantly, return that responsibility back to the parents. Well, the entire Department of Education on the federal level ought to be yeah. abolished anyway. The federal government has no business in the individual state education and the mandates. They failed abysmally to yeah. boot. And if, if you look at where we were pre and post Jimmy Carter, our educational system has suffered. Uh, since uh, Jimmy Carter created the Department of Education during his presidency in uh, the mid to late uh, 70s. But you have Arne Duncan, who's the head of this or, or the Department of Education, who's wanting these longer school days. You've got Obama appointing Kevin Jennings for safe schools, and Kevin Jennings uh, advocates that it's okay and it's even good to have sex among five-year-olds and sex between adults and children. That's the kind of administration we have. That's why it's important that we need to vote. Go to Liberty Council's website and get some information about political activity of pastors and churches. You can get it at the website lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. We have information about voting, about the rights of pastors and churches to educate people and to register people to vote. This November, vote. 
if this is the kind of administration you want, where you have someone who's going to lengthen the school day, someone who's going to appoint an individual to be uh, the safe school czar that promotes sex among children and pedophilia, then just simply stay home and don't vote. But I think it's time for people in America, and I think most people agree, to wake up and vote our values. Go to Liberty Council's website, get more information about registering to vote, what you can do, how you can educate, and how pastors and churches can be involved in this political process. That's lc.org. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.